right, uh, what I'm going to show you today is uh, another open string, uh, just a cool little open string chord progression we can do. We've been doing so many bar chords, I thought we'd uh, take a break from that. Uh, let me play it for you. Good sound here. Um, it's really neat because you're going to put your little fingers here, your pinky and your ring finger, on the third fret on the high E and B strings and just leave them there while you change the other stuff. There's actually, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. There's uh, four chords that we can do with this. And the first one is a G chord. Now, I know you learned G like this. Okay, we did G before, and you're used to that. But now we're gonna do it a little bit differently. We're gonna take our pinky and put it on the third fret on the high E, and then our ring finger is gonna go on the B on the third fret as well. All right. Now the uh, right on here. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna have my middle finger on the low E on the third fret, and I'm gonna have my pointer finger on the A string on the second fret. Okay? So the D string and the G are open. The D and the G strings are both open, but the rest of them are not. Okay, that's the first chord. Now let's go ahead and, and, and learn all the chords and then we'll work on the strumming pattern. That's a G chord. Okay, just a different way to do it. Now the next chord, this is going to be what's called G over F sharp. Okay, and what I'm going to do just lift my middle finger up, and I'm going to take my pointer finger, and I'm going to put it on the second fret on the low E. And I'm going to keep these two little fingers where they are. And now I have, this is an F sharp note. And at the same time, I have that down, I'm going to mute the A string because I don't want it to come out. So this finger has two jobs. Holding down the low E on the second fret and muting the A. You'll probably automatically do that without even having to think about it. And you get this. Sounds maybe kind of weird all by itself, uh, but in the midst of the chord progression, it really sounds good. So that's called a, a G over an F sharp bass. All right, so we have um, G chord, and then the next one. Now, for the next chord, this is a C chord. It's actually a C chord add nine, but it's a you know C chord. So what we're going to do, <clears throat> remember you started with G like this, okay? For the very first chord, we'll take these two fingers, go towards the floor, one set of strings, and then you have a C chord. Now don't get the low E in there. So this finger, this middle finger is touching the low E so that I don't get it. Alright? So that's the C chord. And then you can go to an E minor 7 chord here. And uh, <clears throat> what I'm doing there is I'm just taking these two fingers and going 2nd fret on the A, 2nd fret on the D there. Okay? And I'll strum them all. It's going to be an E minor 7. Alright? I could also do this. I could have 2nd fret on the D and the A. Different sound. I don't want the low E on that one. Alright? So we have G, and then G over an F sharp bass, and then C at 9. And then I think I played it different at the beginning, but you can do anything. I just want to show you these chords, and you can put them in whatever order you want to. Uh, let, me, let me nail one down though, so that we can work on it. Sharp. Okay, let's do it this way. Let's go G, G over F sharp, and then let's go E minor seven, and then the C one, and then we start over. All right. Now the strumming pattern, we'll first get the chords. You want to be able to do this. Alright, now the strumming pattern is down, down, up, down, up. Okay, so down, down, up, down, up again. Down, down, up, down, up. G over F sharp. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. And then E minor 7. Down, 
use that progression so that might sound like a song and it probably is probably several songs uh, use that exact uh, progression there so anyway just a few open string chords there for fun 